Hi people, this is Tips and Tricks by Shamal Travels. On this episode, we are going to be talking about South Africa and why this destination must be on your priority list if you are considering tra to travel very soon. Do you need a visa to travel to South Africa? If you are travelling with a Mauritian passport, you get a 30-day visa-free stay once you land in any airport in South Africa. But if you are travelling with any other passport, we will recommend you to check your visa requirement while booking your ticket. There are currently five flights options you can choose from when traveling to South Africa. South African Airways, Air Mauritius, British Airways, Fly Safair and Kenya Airways. Air Mauritius and South African Airways, they fly daily to Johannesburg and you can connect to any cities in South Africa. British Airways, Fly Safair have three flights per week again to Johannesburg and also you can connect to any cities you want in South Africa. Kenya Airways fly through Nairobi to Johannesburg and Cape Town at least three flights a week. Now let's look at the top cities you can consider when traveling to South Africa. There's Cape Town. Cape Town is one of the most visited cities in South Africa and also has been voted one of the best cities in the world for several years in a row. Now let's see why. Cape Town is located on the Western Cape of South Africa. It has beautiful weather year round and you have lots of activities ranging from culture, tradition, wildlife, uh, road trips, kids activities, adult activities. If you're going for a honeymoon, it has everything for all. Now let's look at some of the top activities you can choose to do while you're in Cape Town. Of course, the most popular is Table Mountain. You can take a day trip to Table Mountain, you can choose to take the cable car up Cable Mountain or you can hike, you can uh, do paragliding from Cable Mountain. There's plenty of activities you can choose from. You have also the waterfront, the Victorian Alfred waterfront. There's lots of things happening in the waterfront. Restaurants, pubs, clubs, bars. Uh, you have also uh, lots of concerts. You have the waterfront where you can take a day trip, you can take cruises, half day cruises, you can take a trip to Robben Island, you have the Cape World, the Tocean Aquarium, you have shopping also at the waterfront. So easily you can have a day trip at the waterfront. Uh, some other activities while in Cape Town, of course, are the beautiful road trips you can do from the city. You can take a road trip to the Cape Point Natural Nature Reserve. You can go through the Chapsman Peak, uh, Boulders Beach, uh, you can also take a day, to, day trip to Hermanus for whale watching. Other popular activities, of course, is the Wineland. There are popular winelands like Stellenbosch, Pal, um, Franchuk. Again, a half day trip, full day trip. You can also choose to stay overnight. You can do wine tasting, eat, take um, a spa day so there's lots of things you can do in the wineland another activities you can do close to cape town is aquila safari it's just a short trips away a few hours so you can either choose to do a one day trip there have your game drive have lunch there and come back to your hotel in cape town or you can choose to stay over if you want also now if you're a bit more adventurous like i said you have paragliding you have also helicopter rides and you have also the very popular shark cage diving in Cape Town. Now let's see the other des popular destination. There's Johannesburg. Johannesburg is located only four hours away and have lots of things to do uh, in Johannesburg and around uh, around the city. Johannesburg is one of the largest cities in Cape in South Africa and uh, it's now becoming very popular among youngsters, especially with the hip nightlife, lots of bars, lots of clubs, restaurants in the city, lots of shopping you can do around the city. There's also lots of visits you can do if you're looking uh, to learn a bit about the history of South Africa, you have a culture of course to experience. Now around Johannesburg what you can experience for only a few hours drive away is Sun City. It's a popular resort destination. It's an integrated resort destination with several hotels you can choose from, ranging from three star, four, five, palace hotel. You have lots of activities within the resort uh, quad biking, safaris, swimming pool, uh, nightlife, lots of restaurants. Uh, well, lots of things you can do within the resort. So you can spend two, three days and come back to Johannesburg, spend two, three days, and you'll have a beautiful vacation. 
another destination you can choose from another city is Durban. Uh, Durban is uh, located along the coast so, that, so they have beautiful resorts there, you have active lots of water sports, uh, of course Durban is a very multicultural city so a lot of history to experience. Uh, one of the most popular activities in Durban of course is the Umschlanga Park, you have also one of the largest uh, aquarium in Durban. And from Durban, uh, one day trip that we do recommend is the Drakensberg Mountain. Uh, uh, you can do, you can stay over there. It's a beautiful uh, road trip. You have horse riding, hiking. It's just very quiet and serene if you're looking to cut off from a very busy, busy life. Um, other uh, recommendation we have if you're considering South Africa is actually a road trip. It starts, it's the Garden Road Road Trip, one of the most popular and beautiful road trips in the world. It's in southern South Africa. You can either start from Port Elizabeth and finish in Cape Town or start in Cape Town and finish in Port Elizabeth. The city that covers in that road trip is of course Port Elizabeth, you've got Naisna, you have George, Plattenberg Bay, Mosul Bay. You can do the road trip in two nights, three nights, stay over in those beautiful cities. You can either choose to join a group that's doing for, uh, the garden route or you can do a self-drive. You can have a GPS in your car, a good vehicle and you can drive the road trip and stay one or two nights in each of the cities, um, the garden route. Now some quick mention about some other cities that you can consider or you might have heard of which is equally good is of course Pretoria which is the administrative capital of South Africa. Uh, another quick mention is of course uh, Dinokan Game Reserve which is located only a few hours drive away from Johannesburg. Then you have of course one of the biggest uh, safari uh, park in uh, South Africa, the Kruger National Park. Uh, you can, it's a beautiful park, lots of resort, lots of safari, um, safaris you can choose from. You can stay there. Uh, of course, uh, Kruger Park has its own airport, so you can easily connect from Johannesburg to uh, Kruger Park. So there you are. These are some top cities that you can consider. Hope you liked our tips and tricks on South Africa today and hope it will help you plan your next uh, trip better. You can always reach out to us if you want more information. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video.